be discussing or intro or having introduction to the stock market. Um, we all know that the stock market now um, is trying to recover, or they it went down, and there's a lot of news that's going on, right? And for the others, this is a best time or the best opportunity to invest. And to talk about that, um, we have Alze. Um, he's been my colleague um, from Accenture as well, right? We've been doing this for quite some time already. And we wanted to share our knowledge on the stock market, right? So, um, Alze, you can go ahead and start. Thanks, Marfix. Can you hear me? Can you hear me clearly? Yep. All right, good. Okay, good evening, everyone. All right, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, we're happy to see you joining in, uh, interested to know about the stock market investing as well. Hopefully, we'll be able to impart, to really speed up or uh, to, to have the basic foundation about uh, stock knowledge, uh, stock market thing, okay? Just an introduction to the stock market uh, uh, discussion. So we expect that we'll, we'll be talking about the basic we'll be talking about the foundation option you have to know about the stock market i would not have to go to the the in the details about the fundamental analysis or technical analysis of the stock market it would just really be to prepare you to guide you on how to start investing in the stock market okay um by the way uh, for, to formally introduce my name is arpio I'm currently working at Accenture and doing this uh, trainings, facilitation, facilitating of training, more particularly in financial and stock market investment as well. Um, me and Murphix uh, uh, been doing this for quite some time, okay, about mutual fund and all other uh, capital markets now. Uh, this is one of the passions that I'd love to do because I really envision that uh, like uh, more and more Filipinos, especially those millennials and even Generation X would really be uh, financially literate. I can just imagine the financially literate people. No? It's going to be an uh, advantage of us that nobody would just really depend on the government for, for their daily needs or for their money. But rather, everyone would just really be financially deteriorate. There's going to be a lot of like a money vehicle that we can uh, uh, tap them to. Uh, we learn them, learn them because maybe we don't have any mentor or nobody had taught us about such, or maybe we're afraid to start with. But I tell it's the journey. You know? I also started in that situation where I, I, I couldn't find any mentor who could help me to understand what are those markets or money vehicles that uh, could help me out in terms of like um, increasing the wealth. No? Uh, and stock market is one of such, one where we can tap into. Uh, it's something easy and easy to learn. Um, it might take some time uh, at the start to really know the basic i will tell you it's i felt like that my word that i usually uh, say is that it's addicting <laughs> okay the moment that you start investing and uh that's my know that everyone would just really love to invest and that's going to be for your future right i know for i've already heard about the saying that um the best time to invest was yesterday right have you heard about such now we've heard about, about this uh quotation for quite some time or several times maybe you know? because most believe that okay uh maybe tomorrow i would have to invest no, not this time okay maybe because i'm too young to invest and then eventually when you start working or maybe i can just enjoy uh my my earn the fruit of my labor and then eventually when yes i'm too old to now to, to prepare for myself right and when the uh emerges when we are left with nothing on our hand and that's going to be a struggle why we depend much on what, what would be the government could could provide us or our social security which i think 
would really not be involved. Oh, of the Filipino, we depend so much on our kids to become there, uh, to become members of our uh, emergency fund, no, or retirement fund, I would say, right? And for uh, um, children who had been supporting their parents as well, that it's going to be hard to uh, um, really keep on providing for their parents, right? Especially, so that's that's the usual struggle of the Filipino, no? We have to move away from that mindset and really start to educate ourselves with those uh, um, financial uh, um, knowledge for us to really uh, be financially literate and know how to start investing for our future future and for us to be secular when time uh, there are emergencies and then again i would mention stock market is one of the great investment uh what then i could understand you either have just heard about stock market but very afraid to invest in stock market because nobody had told you about how to really invest. If you have that wrong assumption about stock market. You might be thinking about stock market. It might only be for those who can read apps, right? Or those people who, who, are, who are in the uh, securities and exchange or in the Philippine stocks exchange. Uh, people is wearing like the barong and wearing those uh, coat and ties, right? You might have that wrong perception. And guess what? The internet because of the introduction of like the the the, the new system no uh the advancement of the platform really invest in the stock market and let's uh take this time to really invest in stock market it's a, it's a good uh good time to to invest in the stock market no uh, there's going to be volatility in the stock market but i would always say it's always been best to start knowing how to invest in the stock market if only somebody have mentored me and helped me up uh even before 2011 i could have had started my journey in the stock market even before the financial crisis uh that had happened sometime in april 2009 financial crisis what had happened the stock market really rose up now we are facing this we say uh, another financial crisis we call it right and it's a globe after a few few months few years from now there's gonna be a good uh yield uh, of you because the market is eventually there's no way but up all right and let's learn about stock market this time let's learn the basic about stock market let's start with what is a stock okay so what is a stock in the past a stock is a ownership no it's a, it's like a, a paper represents something like uh, an ownership of the company so when you buy a stocks before you'd be given something like a paper uh, that would be a representative or a proof that you own a portion of that company so you become an owner of the company so why does why does the uh, company would be enlisted in the stock market for uh, and then uh, allow other people to invest in them to, to become their owners. No? That might be the question for you. No? Say, for example, there's a big company. They wanted to be listed in the stock market. Uh, you might have a question. Why would they have to be listed in the stock market and offer ownership in the public? Pwede naman sila sila na lang. They can just own their company, right? So think about this. Big companies who want to really expand their business. They want to uh, put up, put up a, a brand, they want to, to increase their revenue, okay? So there are several ways for them to get fund. One, they can uh, take a loan from the banks, okay, big banks, so that uh, these banks can uh, give them, uh, not give, but uh, lend them some money for them to to use but the struggle these banks would require what uh they would require like uh, they, they would be paying interest and they would require like um all that you know, um a proof that uh, you have you have some uh, assets and then these assets you, you cannot sell these assets because owned to them right so this company 
would hesitate to go to the bank and get a loan interest and annual interest and then at the end of the uh, the the loan they have to pay in full the other alternative of this company would they be um they'll be their uh, revenue their income to increase their um uh or to improve their branches right the struggle there is that it might take some time okay i said they would have to uh accumulate a retained earnings no your their earnings but they'd have to um uh, use it for the future expansion right Third potential source uh, of this company would be to introduce or to uh um off tax there is where the stock markets would would come in no that is where the philippine stock markets would come in that they would have to the ownership to so now the public who has money can pull some some of their uh investments no like for us wala man tayong like pesos or 100 millions of pesos to invest with but we might have a hundred thousand we might have ten thousands and then eventually those tens of thousands hundreds of thousands when pulled together, that could be something that this company could use. And in exchange, this company, this listed company would give you a stocks. In that's gonna be in the form of this kind of stocks. This is LDT. There's no scriptless uh, stocks yet. So Ibig Sabihin, it's still an electronic one. That It's electronic one that we're using this time, but in the past, it's a paper base, right? A script, I'm talking about that. All right. The other uh, concept that we'd have to understand, okay, we, we now understand that the stocks is a is a is a uh, of ownership. No, it's an ownership that you have. It's a proof of ownership that uh, you have uh, for for a certain company. Now, what is a stock market then? Now, a stock market is where this stock proof of ownership no, sell uh, can be sold. No can be exchanged for a certain money or certain amount, certain value to those who are interested to sell for those stocks. example, you, and then eventually, after a while, after a year or after two years, you need some cash. You now have the proof of ownership that something or you own a portion of a PLDT and you want to sell this because you need cash. That's where you go to the uh, stock market. You go to the stock market and then have someone there to like uh, dodge in uh, your uh, stocks that you wanted to sell and somebody said to also buy those stocks. Maybe because they also saw that this stock would uh, increase in value in the future, right? Or this this stock will give them a dividend in the future. That would be also an uh, investment for them. So that is where the stock market is. Yet only that, what they're selling is not fish or vegetable. They're selling in stocks. Okay? That's why it's called stock market. All right? We might have a wrong no market in the past because what we see in the in the television or in the movies is that this is the place where in people are like take and there's a lot of numbers going uh, in and out, the red, the green, uh, and the white num uh, number or uh rest there that are that, that keeps on moving right so we might have the notion in the past about but guess what in today's world because we do have an internet it's going to be easy for us to access uh, all the information that we need to have market and you can invest at, uh, at the comfort of your home okay so you can invest in stock market without the really go into the like uh, the Philippine stocks and uh, at your broker you just have to you just need to have a um account to your broker and uh, uh start investing right okay the companies that have listed in the stock market i forgot the, the exact number as of this time if i'm not mistaken there's something like 280 um a listed company in the stock market right let me know if you see uh, like these are just an example of companies that are listed there in the stock market no and i would assume or let me know if you see here some 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 name of the stocks that you, you aren't familiar with 
listed those items who are or those companies that almost every one of us can identify, you know, sold names. These are companies with established their credibility, their goodwill, their companies for quite some time. No? And so it's going to be like, a, uh, it's going to give us uh, that, uh, I would say, confidence we're in. Like, this company wouldn't really close uh, the soonest time. No, uh, It would take to, for this company to really, like, uh, be bankrupt, right? Um, so these are listed in the stock market. We're in, we can also um, uh, invest no? through buying their so they are offering their stocks, okay? Or stock market is offering stocks for this company wherein you can buy investing. But the greatest question I think would really be, why do I have to invest in the stock market? No, understand of it. Or what's the advantage of investing in the stock market? Okay, why do you think I have to invest in the stock market? There are several reasons. Of course, aside from increasing your money, um, stock market is an investment with high liquidity. Okay, when we say high liquidity, you can easily cash out your money. So if you have, a, if you are a holder of the stocks, especially if the stock is a well-known uh, uh, stock of a well-known company. So for example, SM or Ayala or Metrobank or PLDT or um, uh, Jollibee, no money you can easily just sell your stocks and then wait for two days and then on the third day withdraw your money okay unlike in real estates uh, where in wait for people who your your land and then you'd have to bring them to their to your land and show them this is my land and this is the certificate this is the okay and there's going to be a lot of like documentation requirement right so it would take some time uh, um, sometimes it would take a year before you talk market just like uh, three days would be the usual no you can easily like withdraw your cash emergencies just withdraw uh, uh this, uh, your money from the stock market it's also high yielding no when i say high yielding of course it would earn um it would really increase no like uh there's a sudden spike of, of the of the price because they're uh, um company no? so it's a high yielding but then of course that would come as well as a high risk no? um the fun accessibility as well you have a computer or even your cell phone if you have an internet and you have your your phone you can transact uh, in the stock market so it's easy you don't have to go to the stock market or the, to the uh, pse to to buy and sell just hold your phone have your internet and then do the transaction it's strictly regulated no this is being, so um as philippine stock market is a self-regulating uh, organization or in the they follow regulations there you cannot just like uh register as a, as a company to uh, and uh, your 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 shares there it has to go through a a, a series of an approval listed and there's going to be a reporting requirement as well heavy reporting requirements so this is where they really have like a accountants to to really make sure that uh, their papers their financial st statement are reviewed it's also easy to learn. I think easy to learn. It does not need or require a scientist to, to learn the stock market, right? Um, I think the moment that you really understand and uh, um, uh, know about stocks, uh, it's, I would tell you, it's just really easy to understand. I, I could assure you that. Uh, and then it, it also helps the economy, no? especially in our one of the uh, requirement there for GDP or part of the uh, factors is the investment. The more um, Filipinos would invest, not only in stock market, though in whatever stock market, um, uh, money vehicle, uh, whatever investment vehicle, uh, it helps economy. So you're actually helping the economy when you invest in stocks. All right. Okay. So how will you learn? Uh, how will you earn from the stock market? 
easy to understand this is to earn in the stock market. Number one, it's through the dividend, through price appreciation. Okay, let's put it this way. Earning through dividends is like uh, when you and then that root, that is the dividend. The moment that you pick up the fruit and sell that fruit, then, okay? In the same way, in the stock market, when we say dividend, if that company will earn after a year, for sure, they're in the business, well, not all the time, uh, that they will be earning, but since be, they are ready to earn, right? So when they earn, they will share that earning to their shoulder, to those people who's investing in them. So since you're holding uh, some um, some ownership, some shares, the portion of your share would be given an equivalent uh, um, a dividend. As well. Okay. So say for example, kung ten percent you hawak mo na ownership, of course if the company hundred million, you would get the 10% of such because you hold the 10% of their entire stocks. Okay. So how do we earn through price appreciation? Price appreciation would be the price when you bought it at, at 10 pesos today and then eventually you sell it at 20 pesos, you earn the 10 pesos. Now, if you purchase one, that's already equivalent to 10,000. Cite, for example, Ayala Land, no? uh, way back like few, few, um, Few days back, back long to simulate. The Ayala land went down, no? If I'm not mistaken, somewhere around 18 pesos or close to 20 pesos, right? The price was 20 pesos during the time. What if you bought time, no? The start of uh, ECQ. Today, the price is at 31 pesos level, no? So that would mean that you like almost uh, around 11 pesos per share. Now, if you have ten thousand during that time, you purchase the uh, uh, you purchase you know, let's just say twenty thousand for easy computation. How much would that be this time? No, you purchase it at pesos. Uh, you have ten thousand. You have ten thousand. You pay at twenty pesos. How many shares have you have? You might have like a, a five thousand or five hundred shares, right? Five hundred shares this time, selling at thirty pesos. How much would that be? Right? It's it's now how much? Fifteen thousand. So the increase of like five thousand of uh, uh, earning just simply by just waiting for quite some time. The moment that the price and then you sold it. The moment that the price went up. Okay. So why does the price appreciate or why does the price uh, go up and down? It's because of the demand the moment that the people who would like maybe because they felt like few years from now this stock would be really increase because they sis and so they will be buying stocks because they know that the price would really increase another example Jollibee when it started right in, in the in the past like few few years back uh, 10 years back, how many? You could just bought Jollibee at 60 pesos. It went up to 320 pesos. Now it went back to uh, 90 pesos and 130, uh, the, the latest price. I forget the latest price of Jollibee, but it's around that number, right? So when you purchase it at 130, let's say, for example, today, a month from now or a year from now, that might be 200. That difference between the price when you bought the, the share compared to the price when you share, that becomes your income, all right? So that's the price appreciation, the growth. If you will uh, take it an example in the tree, it's like you cut the tree. When you plant the tree, the fruit would become the, your dividend. Now, when you saw that the tree is uh, already like, like uh, flourishing and it's really, uh, it's a, you cut the tree, you, you sold the trunk, no, you sold the woods. That's a that's a price appreciation. Okay. If it's a bit just a seed when you bought it, when you plant it, and after years of waiting, 
it's now matured you can sell the wood it's already uh, a good uh, amount to 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 receive through selling the, the 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 trunk of the tree the woods i give you a good yield right but then when you sell when you sold the 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 stocks of course do not expect that getting that even moment that you sold the stock you release your ownership of the company you'll no longer be receiving the dividend okay because you already cut down the tree so that uh, stocks to uh, to invest all right now uh there's a risk a risk though okay the caution market is very very volatile you you really never know i'd really expected that uh, we'll be an ecq this time no uh and then after because of this easy you what had happened the market crashed no? the, the market really went down the market prices went down we would never know now if you are someone motion or uh you you are not uh you cannot tolerate volatility or you cannot you don't do not have that appetite uh, risk when you to invest in the stock market. Baka hindi ka makatulog. It will give you a sleepless night because you can see that there's a lot of paper loss. When I say paper loss, it's really not a loss at all until such time that you sell it. But it will get them really looking at your portfolio. It's it's red. No, uh, if you have hard time to to manage your emotion, uh, I I caution you. To invest in the stock market but i would say i would think it, no? it would take some time for you to to master your emotion so start by little by little by little start some some money and afford to lose okay i would say it's something like your enrollment fee if you can pay for something like uh, go uh, pay the, the the ticket for a movie house or pay like, some some thousands to 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 buy yourself a gadget why not also invest in something that you can learn right and that's the stock market start investing in the stock market even as low as five thousand pesos there are even who's offering like two thousand five hundred and some brokers are even offering uh first method if you have a a, a you can offer uh you can open a, a, a uh you you can open your uh without any initial investment all right where to start okay start with the right knowledge okay the fundamental knowledge just the fundamental knowledge i guess this is a start though you can read there's a lot of uh, articles now there's a lot of uh, documents that you could re read uh, over the internet uh, um read about what stocks you have to buy you can start with those stocks that are really um uh solid okay? and uh, those uh companies that would really last for for quite some time that they would not have to close or declare bankruptcy now just learn something like how to buy and sell most of the brokers offer a free trainings or free session about what to buy and sell okay about uh, learn as well about the cost and how much would be the fee it's very minimal okay and self-assess yourself what is my goal okay do i have that appetite of a uh, risk appetite what is my time horizon within a year because if you just invest today and then tomorrow you'd, you'd uh, withdraw it, I don't think the uh, stock market would work for you. Just invest it in the bank, okay? But if you are looking at like a year, uh, three years to five years down the line, or even until your re retirement age, stock market, okay? And then open an account. There are a lot of uh, choices that you can uh, select now. You can open an account that are uh, called financials, First Metro, BPI, U Trade, Maybank, just uh, some of the few uh, good uh, stock brokers. Now I have uh, some accounts for, from them, so I I felt like I'm really uh, uh, what you call that endorsing them out. Should I say they're not paying me, but I, I think they're they're good. Uh, they're good. No? no reference. They may have different uh startup capital or i would say like uh, their initial opening uh capital no separate so example call would require you like uh, pesos uh first metro zero okay we trade ten thousand that would be 10. okay and oh the uh hour no 
So uh, I hope uh, uh, we were able to improve the, you know, the stock market. Questions or uh, you can email me uh, at uh, aljpolycarpio at gmail.com. You can also reach out to Murphix and you can also like the uh, being free in the Facebook page. No, uh, the uh, you, you can see that near screen being free that uh, being free ph. Okay, you can uh, search that in your Facebook and like that page. All right, thank you everyone. And uh, Murphix, over to you. And you can also like the uh, being free in the Facebook page. Uh, the, uh, you, you can see that it's in being free that uh, being free page. Okay, you can uh, search that in your Facebook and. Hey, LJ, can you hear me? Yes, so there I can hear. Questions here, um, like, how much is a good start for the stock market? All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned this a while ago, though. Um, uh, depending on your broker, like uh, Call Financial, they would ask you to start with five thousand pesos. Personally, I started with five thousand pesos. Me and my wife have five thousand. You trade, they sometimes accept like uh, two thousand five hundred, but the regular rate is twenty-five thousand. BI trade is a uh, ten thousand. You could start from there. No. So um, for newbies, I think COL Financial would be good. There are also uh, like other uh, uh, brokers that are good. Regina Online is also good. Uh, you trade options there, but you can start with as low as five thousand pesos. That's already good enough. If, for example, let's say I don't need the minimum, how much money is good enough for you to start? Let's say. As a, as a beginner, right? Um, I, I have 100K, right. 200K. What's a good number to start? Okay. The, the best answer there is really to self-evaluate. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, how much are you to lose out losing enough sleep? Okay. So that would mean like if I lose 10,000, pesos today because i invest in stock market can i st if i'll die because of the ten thousand do not invest the ten thousand just invest like one thousand maybe that's a, that's the, that's the minimum that you could, uh, but if you felt like i i i'm not afraid to really invest uh, i have a hundred thousand and you 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 felt like you are not then or you are not thousand then be it so that would really depend upon your risk appetite no that's gonna be very important second i would invest something that you don't know so like do not just invest because you hear the much or you somebody is like uh hyping some some uh, uh stocks okay study for for yourself now know about that comp that company is that and number three invest only those uh yung portion of your money that you can really invest do not invest something money that you need for your personal needs let's say for example if you had to buy for the your grocery buy your grocery okay but if it's an excess money you felt like this is really an extra money then that's something that you can uh, 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 invest with all right so i think another question here right um so another yung short term long term in terms uh, stock market what what does it matter or what's okay. the short term good okay like i would say there are people who are investing in stocks because they wanted to uh, ride the uh, say ride the volatility of the stock market when i say ride the volatility it's very volatile because it goes up it goes down it goes up it goes down right so those people who are short-term investor, I would say they're a trader. They will wait for the moment where in the price of that stock goes down. The moment that it buy right away. And then after a few days, at times, if they are really trader, when the stock price would go up, they will sell it right away. Okay? Those, those are the traders, no? 
the long-term investors doesn't work that way. What they do is that they look for a good, they look for stocks, no? Because sometimes it's a good company with the bad stocks, okay? Um, good company with the good stocks, future yung perspective nila, sabihin, they know from now, three years from now, this company will purchase this company. Say, for example, Smart purchase uh, PLT. So if you, you thought that, okay, uh, two years from now, Smart will be uh, buying PLDT. And so you already buy those stocks from, from Smart, no? For example, lang. And so after two years, you know, so similarly, that's the long-term shot, no? And this this often I recommend the newbie, okay? When you are new in the stock market, I don't really recommend to play around with the uh, uh, traders no because one you might uh, potentially really lost a lot because you you still lack the knowledge number two you might lack the capital no uh, it's easy for you without that capital you don't have that uh, voice you don't have that uh, demand for for the price no so i would suggest for long term but nobody would really stop you from from being a, a trader no uh, as long that you have that risk appetite and you have that capital Yep. Thanks, Andre. So, so for me, um, yeah, um, to answer that as well, no. Um, when you say short term or long term investment in terms of the stock market, for me, I base it more on how often can you check the stock market, right? Especially for us, right? Um, me and Andre are working, are full time employees. Um, so I'm more of a middle, in the middle, right? Uh, I do short-term investment and long-term investment as well. Um, but most of the time, I'm, I'm on the middle, right? Because if I can actually view my or review or check the stocks every day, then short-term might be good for me, right? Because there's always earning opportunity, may it be daily, weekly, or yearly view, right? Um, but if you can only check your or the stock market like every end of the day or at night or weekends right if you have only that capacity to check the stock market then you're more or less on the middle right but there are some that only buys it every now and then or looks at it like if you remember it then most likely you're a long-term investor right but we don't recommend you investing and just leaving it behind always remember that it's like a business um, you need to have you need to check on your business every now and then right so even though it's a long-term investment you still need to um check your your investment every now and then so the most that i would say is check maybe once a month or every weekend that's what i do every weekend um, I, that's when I usually review my stocks, but I can actually check the stocks every day as well. Um, that's because there are a lot of people asking questions and it helps me to have a view of what's going on the market. Right. Um, so another question would be recommendation for stocks to invest. Hmm. I like this question. This is, um, a beginner's usually, a, um, this is the first question that a beginner would ask, right? Um, Alj, do you have any input on this? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so uh, there could be variables there, uh, Murphy. Uh, I would always say that uh, number one, uh, you'd really have to check like uh, your risk up it, no? Uh, if you are aggressive, then you can like uh, get those stocks that are high yielding, but very risky, right? Those are those there. But if you're aggressive, then go go with it. There are also like um, consideration we're in. You don't like those stocks because those are stocks that does not fit in your principles in life. Say for example, I don't I don't usually buy stocks that are related to um, or like uh, um, seen, uh, those related to uh, businesses that are not not are not that are I would say in with my yung mga sa sa um, uh, 
cigarettes, yung mga ganun, or yung mga kasi dampals or there. So that would really depend upon your perspective. No, on yung uh, you, you felt like into your uh, schemes of things. I would say. Yeah. All right. So for RJ, yeah, we've talked about this before, right? So you avoid stocks like um, yung gambling, liquor, cigarettes, and stuff like that, right? Um, so um, that depends usually on your personality as well, right? Because there are, for example, for me, when I started, right, when I started investing in the stock market, I only buy the companies that I buy when I grocery, right? For example, the number one example I have here is Del Monte. I've been buying Del Monte ever since. But when I learn about technical analysis and everything like that, I sold everything already, right? Because it's it doesn't make sense. They make me a good company. But there are what we call technical analysis that you need to review or check. It would help you analyze, right? Um, sooner, or we can have a, a session about um, how to pick stocks, right? Based on um, fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Um, those are the key, um, key points when you're buying stocks. Um, is you need to have a specific um, system in place. Um, and you just make sure I think that, the principle... Yep. I, I think just, the principle... Go ahead, that, uh, go. You really want to follow there with just something that you, you know and invest in something that you are confident with. Like for me personally, this time, what I'm really investing with, Heavily on the on Mega World uh, DM guy, those are most of my portfolios because we're starting to really understand this time about it. And I'm um, less this time considering that my wife is an architect, so somehow those are the stocks that are close to me, and so that's where I'm leaning into. So that would really depend person by person. There are a lot of variables with such, we don't want just to, to single out any particular stocks that uh, you. Yeah, right. So if if you notice as well, right, in one of my posts, um, one of the companies that actually soared from 3 pesos to 8 pesos in just a couple of days was um, Certec company. Um, they create chips, right, For um, and they released a news that they'll be producing um, chips for the ventilators, and that's one of the reasons why I think the stock market responded. And it went up, right? So you need to check, especially now, like what's going on. You need to check on what are the stocks that might do well with this ECQ, right? Or with the with with what's going on. So most of the time, it's it's like consumer goods. Like I've seen pure gold go up, century tuna go up, because those are the things that are actually current. I mean, that are them, those are the things that people are buying now. So um, those are good stocks for now, right? But if you want upside, there are a lot of good companies. Like imagine, um, just like what Aljay mentioned, Ayala Land went down from 40, 40 pesos to 19 pesos. And in just a couple of days, it went back to 33 pesos. San Miguel went down from 160 to 100 pesos. Um, Ayala from 800, I think, to 400. So there's a lot of companies that actually is a good buy now, right? Um, this is our second webinar, and we on our first webinar, we talked about what are the companies that are doing good, right? Um, especially now that oil is down and, you know, um, malls are, do are are closed, so you need to think about those in the long term. Long term for me, technically, that's about two months, three months. That's my long term. When I say long term, for me, that's three months. All right. So, what what other recommendations or what other experiences that you have, Alze? Maybe that you can share to the um to our audience 
Like, why did you invest yeah. in the stock market? There, and there, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I really started the, the stock market when my wife was like uh, uh pregnant during that uh, like uh uh we don't have any savings and we don't i i don't really know where to invest uh, money as so i started really like uh, learning several ways to 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 know about the money vehicle until such time we bump up into uh stock market and uh the first stock up during that time was uh bpi and ayala no? and then eventually <laughs> I learned several uh, stuffs uh, about those uh, uh, companies, and I started to invest more on uh, different stuff. Um, and then uh, I also became very aggressive with with stuffs that I purchased, especially those uh, IPO, and it gave me a very good, you know, especially those my IPO. Double Dragon is one of the uh, greatest stories. SBS, uh, Sorpal was, was a great story. Um, uh, uh was just recently you know um the uh, haven golden haven was also one. There are a lot of our great stocks there but uh, there's a question here is saying what are the mark of the good stocks buy so the, there are different perspective there as well most of the time what they do fundamental analysis when we say fundamental analysis we look at the stocks based on their uh, issue. We look at the rapid earning uh, growth uh, perspective. We look at the revenue, whether they increase by yung uh, uh, income nila. Paano natin? That's the next question. Good thing we have the internet. You can just uh, pseedge.com and you'll be able to see yung mga details of those companies. Uh, uh, you can review, study their stocks. But really, I would say the good rule of the thumb is that know that company first. Okay, if this company you felt like I know the company, nito. this company has a good perspective in terms of growth, if it's a BN, they will really grow, they will really eventually grow. So, for example, keep on growing or have bad choices, maybe it, uh, uh, recently because they purchased yung, uh, um, the losing uh, uh, CBTL, coffee bean, they purchased the smash. Those might be like um, um, early bumps that they're encountering in the business, but I felt they're still going to continue to grow, right? Another would be like those uh, companies who are helping the, the, this time. San Miguel is really like helping the government this time. Sure, Once this uh, COVID my, uh, would, would, would go out or would be resolved, they might be one of the company that would really benefit from from. A goodness that they have imparted this time as well so those are some of the uh, considerations that we might like to to look into all right what are the questions we mistakes yeah. that uh, so i want to answer one question here like common mistakes that a, be a beginners normally encounter so okay. for me um actually this is a good question for me right because when i started um, first, I was just asked by my cousin to um, invest with San Miguel, and it was good, right? Um, and then I was interested because I just invested 30000 I think I was able to get 10000 out of it in just a couple of months, or maybe a month, right? So for me, that enticed me to invest more in the stock market. Um, so what happened is, I open up Facebook, I join groups, right? And in the groups, they're saying, oh, buy this, buy that, it's good, it's that, right? So I did that for a couple of, you know, weeks, months, until I lost, maybe there's one recommendation and I lost 100,000. Um, that's, yeah, that, that was hard during that time, right? But looking back at it now, it was a good learning experience because... From that time on, I am I never went to Facebook just to ask what stock to buy. I did my own research, right? And then I was able to recover and I was able to to actually profit from the other stocks that I have. So um, that's the common mistake that you actually do is buy something that was, or that was mentioned by somebody else because you don't know if they're really helping you out. Or they they're just helping themselves out, right? So that's that's one thing.
All right. Anything else, LJ? No, I think I'm, I'm good. So uh, I'll be excited to uh, know if uh, those people start their journey in the stock market. Let us know if you have any further questions. Though, okay, uh, right. I would be happy to, to help us start. Okay. Um, so what would happen next after this um, initial seminar is we'll have a series of additional seminars, right? We'll reach out to you if you want to join us uh, we'll prepare like how to buy stocks like when is the right time to buy a stock right we will have that seminar it's a longer session um, so this is just an introductory one um, so we'll have fundamental analysis on how to look if a company is earning or not we will look at technical analysis like it would tell us um, when is the right time to buy or when is the right time to sell, right? So we'll have that. Um, it's a longer series, so uh, we want the participants to be prepared for that, okay? Um, and also, I have one more question here, helping themselves out. Um, what I meant by, there, there's, for example, I have a yellow land. I bought it at 30 pesos. And right now it's at 28 pesos. So I'm losing, right? Um, I would benefit or I would help myself if I would tell you buy Ayala land, it's actually good. Now is the price is 28 pesos, it's cheap, right? So now is the best time to buy. Then if you bought it, right, and there are a lot of people that I you know, who bought it as well and it went up to, let's say, 30 pesos, 34 pesos, 35 pesos, or let's say it went to 40 pesos. So that enabled me to sell my stock, right? But what happened is because I know how the stock market works and I saw the data, it eventually went down to, let's say, 20 pesos. So a beginner wouldn't know how to look at it, right? So that what I'm, that's what I meant when I mentioned um, they would be helping themselves, right? So there's a lot of like that in the stock market, especially in, in, in FB groups, right, or Facebook groups. There are just, you know, a few groups that are really helping you out, right? Actually go there just for the fun, right? Sometimes I go there for, if they're talking about, a certain stock for for example um let's say let's i'm not okay let's say double dragon there's a lot of hype in double dragon it went to two pesos to 80 pesos in less than a year or maybe two years or so right but it went down to 40 and people are still hyping right people are saying, saying oh it's it's a good buy kasi 40 pesos na siya. Dati siyang 80 pesos, bili ka na. Right? But until now, it went down to 20 and it never went back up. So those are the things that you need to um, check, right? So that's what I say, or that's what I really meant when I say um, people are helping themselves, right? Because they're, they're stuck with the stocks that they bought. So... They have, they're asking people to buy the same stock so that they can sell. So that's what I mean. All right. Um, so again, this is going to be recorded. Um, we'll have another session. Um, we'll, we'll give you an idea more on how, like what are the step-by-step -step procedure, right? Um, probably we'll even invite other stockbrokers to show us their platform so that you can decide which one is good for you. Because just like um, Aljay mentioned, um, there are a lot of online platforms that you can use. Um, there are some that are just web-based. There are some um, brokers that have apps, right? Or like applications on your phone. And you can actually check which ones, right? Um, some would require 5,000 as a starting level or starting investment. Some would have 1,000 as a promo, 
others would really start at 20. Right? The common one is 20,000 pesos. And I recommend you to start with 20,000 so that at least, you know, we know or you know yourself that you're really um, invested in this um, learning how the stock market works. Because if it's just 5,000, that's just, you know, that's just, that's just um, a pair of shoes for others or, you know, a shirt, a branded shirt. And for others, that's easy. But 20,000 is something something a little bit hard to lose, right? So if you're willing to lose that, then you're willing to learn as well on how not to lose that money. So we'll have that session soon. Um, we'll just figure out the schedule because Algie is having um, another session with um, Six Sigma, right? Um, so um, we can actually um, schedule that that maybe a week or two yeah. weeks from now. So yeah. do you have any qu other questions before we go? Perfect. If I can also plug that now uh, for those interested to, to, to learn well, about Lean Six, they're also Seeker. like online. Elevate Lean Six. <laughs> uh, sure, we um, we we can have we can have a, a Lean Six Sigma session. Um, we'll we'll try to check that if that's something that we can um, offer. Right. So if I there's mean, no I'm currently like conducting training for Elevate. All right. So do we have any other questions or clarification? You can ask your questions. We'll just try to answer them. All right. Thank you. Um, others are saying already that they'll um, looking forward for the next sessions. Right. Um, so you you've sent us your email address. So we'll just um, email you. Right. We'll form a group that would eventually allow you to ask questions right um so that we could actually help you out so if there's no other question i think we can end, end the session um lj any final words uh, i'm good uh I hope everyone really in the uh stock market uh investing thanks mark Fix. Thanks, Aljay. Thanks for um, doing this for us. Um, also, I'm launching soon our um, website, which is the beingfreeph.com. Um, it's actually there, um, but it's there's there's nothing a lot to see yet, right? Um, but um, sooner or later, you'll see our new programs. We'll have the Wealth um, Abundance Program where we talk about um, how to invest in the stock market right, and other, or how to start a business, we'll have that series, right? Um, what we have right now is a series that we'll start with Uncover, right? So we'll, we'll have the Uncover program. So with that, again, thank you everybody for joining our, our session for today and hopefully to see you in our next sessions. Thank you.